Welcome to the FT's special coverage of the Ambrosetti Forum at the Villa d'Este on Lake Como. I'm here today with Jakob Frankel. Mr Frankel is a former Governor of the Bank of Israel, Chairman of JP Morgan International and Chairman of the Board of Trustees of the Group of 30. Welcome Mr Frankel, thank you for joining us. My pleasure. Um, can I ask you first what your views are on the latest policy proposals by Mario Draghi at the ECB to buy bonds in sovereign bonds in the secondary market? Well, I think it was a, a positive uh, move because it has to be assessed against the background of uh, sovereign markets getting dry. And in fact, many of these sovereigns have found their borrowing cost to be almost prohibitive and uh, therefore, in a way, holding them back from being able to do the right measures. Now, it is important, however, to recognize that the so-called Draghi plan is having several legs. One leg is they will buy bonds and therefore, thereby provide financing to governments. But second leg, which is at least as important, is not every government can get it. it. They have to agree on a program. They need to agree on a program that is being monitored and implemented. So by and large, the idea is that these countries will not just finance their spending, but rather use the time to adjust their economies so that by the end of the journey, they will be able to stand on their own feet without having to rely on the European Central Bank's lending. Part of the problem, though, seems to be that some Eurozone countries regard asking for assistance in this way as a stigma. Do you think that's warranted? Well, if they feel it is a stigma, I guess that's what they feel, and I find it to be fundamentally unfortunate. That concept of a stigma that holds back countries from doing the right things have really started, this concept started years ago when some countries were reluctant to take uh, economic programs with the International Monetary Fund because somehow it indicated that they cannot stand on their own feet. But let's face it, when you go to ask for financing from the ECB or from the IMF, because it is because you cannot stand on your own feet and do the right thing, or you will squeeze yourself to such an extent that you will not really be able to reach your maximum. The important point, therefore, has to do also with public education. One has to inform the public that economic program is not a punishment. An economic program is the necessity. The financing of the program is not a punishment. The financing of it is the mechanism by which the program is implemented. And governments that find it useful to support their necessary program through borrowing should be provided with the opportunity to do it and should not be held back by the so-called stigma. Because at the end of the day, they will be judged by the outcomes, not by the fact that they took some assistance from an international body. And the outcome will be the resumption of economic growth, the reduction of unemployment, the improvement of the standard of living, and who cares and who will remember that it all started through going to the ECB or through the IMF. There has nevertheless been widespread agreement here at Ambrosetti that whilst the Draghi plan, the latest Draghi plan is all well and good, but it's not sufficient. What is your, in your view, are the next sort of policy measures that must be taken to ensure an end to the Eurozone crisis? Well, it's definitely not sufficient, nor is it being sold as the solution to the Eurozone crisis. It has to be understood as the mechanism by which time is being, uh, call it, bought, or what I would better call it, time is being borrowed. And the key question is, what do you do with the time? If you don't do with the time what you need to do, you end up having larger debt and you did not make any progress. If you use the time, you means governments, to do the right economic measures, to improve their competitiveness, to get their house in order in terms of their budget, and elements of that type, then they will be on the road for recovery. So by all means, it will be a mistake to think 
that the ECB, or in general the monetary authority, and that's true also for the United States, for the Federal Reserve, monetary authorities cannot solve a problem which is a real problem rather than a monetary problem. It's a real problem in Europe's structural measures and competitiveness, in the US, the budget and the like. Mr. Frankel, thank you very much indeed. Thank you.